Do you know what does a product manager do in Microsoft? Do you know how to transition into product management with engineering background? In this video, I'm going to interview a senior product manager from Microsoft. She's going to share with you all the behind the scenes story. How did she make it happen? Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product from drnancy.com. Today, we had the pleasure to invite Sherry from Microsoft. She is a senior product manager at Microsoft. She has so much to share with you guys regarding how she transitioned into product and what does she do as a product manager in Microsoft. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell button so you'll be notified every time I turn on the new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the content, please make sure to smash the like button because we really love your support. All right, Sherry, um, do you want to quickly introduce yourself to the audience? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks, Nancy, for the invitation. My name is Sherry. I'm currently the product manager for Microsoft. And I had about 10 years experience in extended reality domain. And I come from technical background. I was a developer. And through my journey, I successfully turned to a product manager right now. I'm so happy to share my tips to you and hope you had a great journey as well. Awesome. So nice to have you, Sherry. And today we have a list of questions already pre-submitted by our audience today. So let me start to ask you this uh, quick question. And first of all, congratulations for your offer as a product Thank manager you. to join Microsoft. And yeah, I know lots of people are trying to join Microsoft. I also know that you joined Microsoft very quickly through your interview experience. So therefore, let's do this. Let's start to learn more about what do you do as a product manager in Microsoft? Okay, so in Microsoft, product manager in charge of connect between the customer and the internal technical product. So what I did is I need to invest, I need to talk to our customers, which is Azure product. We need to evaluate what customer needs and what how their experience is and what the business needs as well. And then convert their needs and business needs into internal product requirement and communicate those requirements with our technical team. And hopefully we can ship a next greatest product to the market for our users. Awesome. So basically it's like, sounds like it's similar to other companies, all the product management functions, writing requirements, figure out what customers needs are and ship the product mm -hmm. to them, right? Do you think there's yeah. anything special about Microsoft you like to share with us, such as the culture, the people, or Maybe you develop product faster than any other companies. We just want to learn more about how Microsoft is different from any other companies. Mm, I think the biggest difference is the title. And mm -hmm. you will see all Microsoft her program manager instead of called it product manager. But the, role, the roles are really vary from team to team. So if you want to interview for Microsoft, you need to think about, you need to actually ask in your interview, say, are you team are hiring a product manager or are you team are looking for a program or project manager? So they, the hiring manager will give you a specific answer to your question. Then you can better understand what are you going to face in your future. That's the biggest difference between Microsoft and all other tech new company, I would say. Uh, internally, Microsoft, people in Microsoft is very collaborative. And the more people you can reach out, the more power you can have to empower them work on the same goal. And then eventually you can have a, a smooth work relationship. Yeah. I see. So sounds like if I summarize correctly, Microsoft has the title that's slightly like similar. Everyone has similar title, but you focus on different things, even if it's yeah. all PMs. And the yes. second part is more collaborative culture, which I believe you need lots of people skills to help people navigate the politics and also making friends in the company as well. Mm -hmm. That's very yeah. exciting. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Can you also tell us more regarding how you prepare for product management interview? Because we know that recently, actually, you got an offer from Microsoft and also get you, I think you get your offer like very quickly as well. It's only your, you only had one interview, just went all the way to the final round, get an offer. Can you share with us regarding the secret? So what do you do in the interview preparation process so that people can get ready for their recruiting session coming up in September? Yeah, of course. So 
in product manager, generally, they have two type of questions you need to prepare. One is product sense questions, and it's like how you de how you design a product, how you design an elevator. And another type of question is product metrics question you need to prepare. And if you are looking for a technical question, technical product role, you need to have at least one technical domain knowledge that the company is looking for. So then you can squeeze into the technical product manager world. And also like I participated in Nancy's PM program and it helped a lot because Nancy has a lot of great framework help, can help you narrow down the product management interview question. Very cool. Uh, a quick reminder is that, hey guys, we recently released the Gucci framework for product strategy interview questions. Feel, for, feel free to check out this new video right here about the Gucci framework. And Sherry, regarding your um, experience become PM, you mentioned that you actually had lots of technical domain for like over 10 years and you transitioned into product management. I just want to ask you several questions. For example, how you bridge the gap? So you were a tech lead, I know. Um, mm. as a software engineer and of leading a team of software engineers, how did you convince the interviewer that I also know product management knowledge? So eventually you land where you are. I think lots of people thinking about the bridging the gap process. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. So as a tech lead before, I know the how a system work and how to design a system and how to implement it. That's the, that's something uh, engineering background or technical background would master at and to bridge in the gap product management world are looking for a strategic thinking say if you want to if you want to interview for the same domain you have you should look for the what is the technical trend and what is the market say you work for Google and who is a competitor for the same technology you are working on in the industry. And you, you, if you do some analysis between them, it can show the interviewer you have product sense. That's what they want to see from your background. Yeah, exactly. I like you talk about the technical aspect of you know this market. Is you also need to know who are the competitors of any kind of product you're going to interview for and so that you show that you have the strategy thinking as if you are product manager. That's very exciting. Can you also tell us more regarding what do you wish to know before you become a product manager? Well, so I, I wish to know how many meetings I was facing <laughs> every day. <laughs> so, so tell us more, how many meetings do you have every day right now? Sounds like a lot. Uh, I would say on uh, average, I will have eight to 10 minutes per day. And it ranges from 30 minutes to an hour. And in between that, and the reason being, as a product manager, you need to communicate with customer. You, you are the center of the product. Everyone comes to you. You are holding accountable for the delivery. Every department who, who participate in this pro product will have to interact with you. So that's why all the meeting coming from. And that's, and I would say like all the strategy, all the decision, all the trade-off you made are between meetings. That's that sometimes you need to figure out for yourself. I see. Yeah, I think becoming product manager also needs to learn how do you manage your time effectively. I have yeah. lots of meetings as well. And I made another video talk about how do I manage my day for full day of meeting from like seven to 11 per, per day. That's, that's yeah. my work hours is crazy. I totally understand this. All right, so besides yeah. you wish you know how many meetings you would have before you become a manager, what else do you yeah. wish you know? Yeah, of course. So um, I wish I know what exactly the delivery are looking like, because what, before I moved to a product role, I was interested in the creative side of a program, of a product. Mm -hmm. And I want to switch from engineer to a product manager because I want to be the person who makes decisions, who create cool things for the customer. But there is another fact, another side of product manager is the, the perfect 
company wants you to make on top of your product. So that's the business side. And as a technical background product manager, that's something I wish I know beforehand. So let's dig in a little bit. Um, we talk about it in the PM Accelerator program regarding the reality. In reality, the company wants you to drive revenue for the company. Yes. So do you feel like you have, your performance was tied up to the revenue bringing to the company? Is that why you think they, you wish you have known this better? Uh, I could say that, yes. And it has two ways. You know, the money comes by how many problems you solved. It's, it won't just because like you want to make money and the money will come to you. So if you're really good at your product and if you really solve users' problem, the money will come. True, exactly. Perfect. I like how you summarize it. So therefore the advice to everybody's watching this video is no matter what company you work for, even if company is all for profit, most of company for profit, um, you need to make sure you solve the customer problem. And then towards the end, you help the company to hit the revenue goal as well. Awesome. So Sherry, one last question. And um, if there's any advice you want to give to anybody who want to transition into product management from a technical background, what would you tell them? Mm, so my suggestion would be do enough research before you jump. Also do some boot camp to prepare yourself and try it out if you what like whether you like it or not. And Nancy's program has good opportunity to help you build up your product portfolio to prepare your interview and also to try out whether you feel you are really into this career. Thank you so much for letting people know about the importance of product portfolio. And if you guys want to learn more about how to build a product portfolio, and feel free to check out this video up here. And thank you so much, Sherry, for sharing with us. So if you guys like the content like this, um, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know if you want me to bring more product managers like Sherry from all the fan companies share with you the insider information. What does it look like to work for fan companies? So I'm going to see you next time. Thank you. And also Sherry, thank you so much for joining us. See you guys. Bye.